Sir, mission failed. Sir, mission failed. A phone failure. is slowly being placed on an opulently decorative table. A man's head leans back in exasperation. His eyes roll to the back of his head as the woman performing fellatio salivating moans echoes within the great hall the two of them occupy. As the waves of climax is about to consume him, the woman looks up at him. Eyes filled with quivering emotions, mascara, bleeding from her tears. Pop. Her eyes stretched wide and fix as her last realization was being shot in the head by a monster. The woman lifeless body falls to the floor, and a man godlike in stature slowly stands. Looking down at the woman with every bit of contempt and loathing any person of wealth can look upon the less fortunate. A team of men entered the room placing a white robe upon him, the rest were carrying away the woman and cleaning the scene. The man spoke, his voice deep, steady and assured. Have another one, ready for the afternoon. Also, set up a meeting with the globalist. We have a problem. Moments later the same man adorned in an exquisite tailored suit enters into a building that stretched seemingly through the clouds. Sir Theodore L. Vanyan walks into a conference room and takes a seat, muttering about, are the ruling class of the world. Gentlemen, we have extracted all that we can from this world. It may be time to consider a new world to exploit, and hold, dominion over. It is our birthrights as gods to claim all within the universe. Send for reports of the Ark and other plans. Right away, sir. The arrogance of those in attendance choked the room, amongst the stench of expensive cologne, scotch, bourbon and cigars. Here, at this very table, lay men who for centuries, has maneuver society to their bidding, creating religious cults to scare the masses to control them, toppling governments, unwilling to accept their pathologies of a one controlling all system. If ever a government would go against the order, they had the means to promote propaganda and set doubt within the people they govern. They would also create plagues, weather disasters and earthquakes created by one of many scientific research and foundation centers, owned by the order. A hologram amidst from the center of the great table. A person from the transmission speaks. The Ark is on schedule for completion. Excellent. Keep us up to speed on all matters. All, within the order, nodded in agreement, each making contacts with their personal assistants to prepare their way for the inevitable. Also all were in agreement that the person not in attendance, whose very chair was empty at the great table, was, to be, eliminated, at all cost. They knew all too well how formidable an adversary to their plans Lord, Abbott, could be. Lord, Melvarian opens up and filled her, passed to him by one of his many hands. His gaze within it was that of a hawk on its prey. Placing the image from the folder to get a closer look, of one, Thothlin Thomas.
Welcome to the Nightly News, I'm Lindsay Porticelli. Today marks the Banking Dominion's new laws pertaining to collections, it doesn't seem to go well for any of us. Within the 1000 page law, death, by those who will be set into order today. May God have mercy on us all. The Thomas family watched the TV and hung on the newscasters, every, word. Thothlin couldn't help but worry about his friend and no sooner did the thought enter into his head, his dear friend Sam is ringing his line. Hello, spoke Thothlin, his voice heavy with concern. And a frantic Sam screaming on the other end. Sam, calm down, suggested Thothlin for he couldn't hear his friend clearly over his screams and banging at Sam's front door. Thothlin help us, screamed his friend and before he could reply Thothlin heard a ring of gunfire. Sam? Sarah am? A chill came over everyone silently sitting while Thothlin dangles his arm phone grasps slightly on his fingertips. They are now alarmed by the sounds in the far distance of other families meeting Sam's fet. Banging at their front door sent a shock of ice water down their very spine. Thothlin Thomas. Please, let us in, we don't have much time, we are here on behalf of Lord Dabbott. Thothlin then ushers his family into the kitchen, and told them all not even to breathe as he turned towards the door and cracks it open. There, stood two towering men who uttered to Thothlin, grab what you can and get your family ready to leave. What is this all about? replied Thothlin as he did exactly as the two men told him to do. Sir, we haven't much time, Lord Abbott will explain everything to you once we get you to him. Mr. Thomas, I am going to ask you to place this bracelet on yourself, and one, for each family member. Trust me, it's for your own protection. I did just what the heavily armed man suggest I do. At that very moment we began taking fire. Mr. Abbott's associate screamed, get down. As both protectors took a defensive position. Ready to rock? Asked one to the other, right toe. They both locked down in their stance and as I watched in amazement, both stepped out from each other. Wow, exoskeleton weaponry. They both yell, command kill, and when I tell you all hell breaks loose. I'ma do me. East to west, sun, nothing left to say. Underlay, 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 break. I took the spear, put my spirit here. Big gods, the baby cars, spitting that we put small. The game of all the old ends, the ain't the star. I rise like an ass in the Panama. Getting talk shit, you might have been alone. All that bullshit, we leave it to the Lord. Might explain why I don't fuck with y'all. Trying to balance out my own Lord. All that nigga team, we just send it. Straight to the mall, my nigga. 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 Straight to the mall, my nigga, yeah. Straight to the mall, my nigga. Straight to the mall, my nigga. Straight to the mall, my nigga, yeah. Straight to the mall, my nigga. Straight to the mall, my nigga. Straight to the mall, my nigga.